So let's talk about some markets. Actually, um, today is the 14th of May, and um, I haven't gone through all these pairs、uh, yet right now. Right? I was actually looking at this GBPUSD just earlier, and I just realized that it's downtrend in one hour. But、uh, for the rest of the currencies, I don't really look at it. So let's look at these、uh, currencies together today. And you can, so that you can exactly see how I kept the trend and how I, which pair to take trades. All right, so let's take a look at the GBPJPY. So, by the way, right,、uh, on this、uh, GBPUSD, it's downtrend.、Uh, just a disclaimer all this information is basically based on my own experience. So, when you take trades, please do it in risk because you know, I'm not here to responsibility. Right. I'm not here to take responsibility of your trace. Alright, l so GBPUSD right now is t going down. And、uh, so when I capture the trend, right, what I look at especially is the Kumo, which, are, which is actually composed of Senko Span B and Senko Span A. And when the Kumo is downtrend,、uh, upper part is called Senko Span B. And the lower part is called Senko Span A. And these lines of Senko Span B and Senko Span A、uh, create Ichimoku Kumo here, Ichimoku Cloud or Kumo in Japanese. So, and I start to look at this angle, current, current angle. And right now, as you can see, the Senko Span B is flat, right? And the Senko Span A is going down, right? While the Kumo itself is going down. So, initially, right, as soon as I see this, I can see that this is a downtrend. And plus, I look at the Kijun Sen angle, right? This green one is called Kijun Sen. So I look at the angle of, of the Kijun Sen too. And when I find its downtrend, right? When I find its downtrend, this also confirms me for the downtrend. So, right, I look at Senko Span B and Senko Span A and Kijun Sen first of all to capture the market direction. And so, in this case, right, in this、uh, GBPUSD 1 hour chart, right, everything's、uh, right, single span B is flat, but single span A and Kijun Sen are moving down. And that's why I can see that this is a downtrend. However, when you look at like a bigger time frame, s like 4 hour or daily chart, like for example, in this 4 hour chart, as I can see it, the Kumo itself is down, right? Kumo itself is moving down. However, when you look at these three lines, right, single span B, Right? It is, it's flat. It's flat. And the Senko Span A is also flat too. And the Kijun Sen is currently flat too. Right? Kijun Sen is currently flat. So I can see that everything is flat now. And so this is in a range to me. Right? This is in a range. So to me, this is a consolidation. Right? There is no trend in the market. So basically, we better wait for the next trend to come in this 4 hour chart. So, the idea here is that you know, depending on which time frame you look at, you might see sometimes the trend or you might sometimes see the range. So, and it depends on the time frame you look at. So, in this four hour chart, this is flat, right? All the three lines are flat, so I can see that this is in a range, right? It's consolidating. So, I will just wait for the next move on this market. And just by looking at the daily chart, right? If you look at the daily chart right now, Right, what would you see? What would you see?、Um, can you type your answers to, the, to this chat box? Let me, you know, let me just, you know,、uh, interaction here. So,、uh, yeah, look at the Kumo and look at the Kijun Sen angle. And do you think this is moving up? Currently, the market is moving up or down or range? Which one do you think is it? it is? Just to make sure that everybody is on the same page here. So, in the meantime, I will just delete all these lines. Right, we're here to actually capture the trend right now. Whether the market is on a trend or not is actually the main topic whenever you try to, you know,、um, try to look for entry timings. So, this is the、uh, GBPUSD daily chart. And do you think this is moving up or down or horizontal? Which one do you think it is? And let me hear your answers. All right, so、uh, range, 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 range. Okay, Kijun Sen cross, all right. Flat, alright. Do all the lines Senko Span A and B and Kijun Sen have to be in synchronizing to take trace?、Um, no, it doesn't have to be. You can just pick up either、uh, Senko Span B or A or Kijun Sen to take trace. 
Uh, right now the Kumo is flat, right? Right now the Kumo is flat. The Kumo is not really going anywhere. It's flat, completely flat. So, right? Um, is Kumo up or down? And the answer is no, right? The answer is no. So what you can do is that hold until Kumo is moving up or down. So in this case, right, based on this daily chart, the Kumo is flat and everybody's correct. Everybody's correct, right? You get the right answer. So this is range. This is range because Kumo's, <clears throat> sorry, um, Kumo is first of all flat, right? It's flat. So it's in the range. So, uh, but uh, let's take a look at the one hour chart, right? Because you see a lot of difference in one hour. When you look at the one hour chart, right? The Kumo is moving down, right? It is moving down. So this is a clear confirmation that the market is on downtrend, first of all. And what it says here is that you have to look at the angle of the Kumo and the length of the Kumo and also the thickness of the Kumo. Alright, so let's check out these three points, right? Angle, length and thickness of the Kumo is the three most important components when you look at the Kumo to capture a trend. So in this case, right, Kumo is going down and this is long enough, right? First of all, this is the length is pretty long. Right? Sometimes Kumo ends up with very short Kumo and twisted uppers. But in this case, the Kumo has been going down. So this clearly shows that the trend is currently stable downtrend based on one hour chart, right? That's confirmed. And also the angle, right? The angle of the Kumo is actually going down. Sometimes, even if you see like a bearish Kumo, bullish Kumo, the Kumo goes flat, just like you saw in the, in the daily chart, right? Uh, so currently the Kumo is bullish, right? This dark gray is bullish. It's my uh, favorite color. I don't really turn these Kumo or candlesticks to like a green or a red because I don't want to get biased in, in these colors. And that's why I just use plain like a gray or a white gray and a blue colors. But um, yeah, so this gray color is actually showing up Kumo, up Kumo. But um, you know, even if you see this up Kumo, right, the Kumo itself is not really going up, right? The Kumo itself is not really going up. So that means that this is flat, right? The Kumo is flat and this shows that the market is consolidating right now still. The market is in the range and it's flat, right? There is no direction, no trend in the market. So that's the second part, right? So the length, right? Again, coming back to this checklist, right? The angle of the Kumo is important. And also the length of the Kumo is important, right? And the third important component is actually the thickness of the Kumo, right? You have to look at the thickness of the Kumo and whether it's thick enough or not when it's moving up or down. So let's take a look at the four hour chart, oh, one hour chart, sorry, one hour chart, and this is going down. And this is not only going down, right? This is thick enough, right? The Kumo is pretty thick, right? As compared to the past Kumo, like this part was very thin, but uh, right now the Kumo is very thick and wide, right? And actually the thickness of the Kumo shows the continuous downtrend, the momentum of this downtrend in this case. And the Kumo should be thick enough to be able to look for the sell chance. So right now I can see that the Kumo is very thick in one hour. And that's why this is uh, one of the confirmations for this downtrend. Okay, is it clear so far? So far so good? So when I release this uh, second version of uh, Ichimoku Trend Checklist, or I just renamed it uh, to a case Ichimoku Trading Strategy. But uh, on this one, right, when I released it, and I think it's gonna release out uh, sometime this week, but uh, when it when I release it, I will, you know, uh, I will explain step by step, and I will explain uh, page by page on this public live, and to see how exactly, uh, you know, you can grasp the, grasp the concept, because this is very important, and this is uh, the uh, uh, analysis, right? This is my analysis based on the daily analysis, so. Yeah, so today, right, today, don't remember anything, right? Don't remember the Kumo, the calculations, or, you know, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen, Chikou Span, or anything like that. But today, right, today, just remember that Kumo, 
and which Kumo is reliable, which Kumo is not reliable in terms of capturing the trend. The points are actually these three, basically, right? Angle of the Kumo, in the length of the Kumo, and thickness of the Kumo. Uh, these three points are the most important points whenever you look at the Kumo in any time frames. Alright, is it clear so far? Let me see your comments. A breakout range and double top may be P wave, alright? So yeah, I introduced a P wave and I think it is a P wave on the daily chart. Yeah, that's true, Finantes. Yeah, in the daily chart, this is P wave, right? And this is what we call M wave. M wave, and yeah, within the P wave. It's a range, but there was a breakout, right? Breakout to the downside, yeah. But not quite, not quite. Maybe, right, this breakout is just about the same level, same previous low. So not quite the breakout will become a downtrend, right? We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, and that's why I, you know, I look at, usually I look at these pairs in gold, but uh, whenever I don't see any trend, I don't take trades because, um, because, right, the market is in the range and the market might go upwards, but it might go downwards and I would never know which way the price is gonna go. So usually when Kumo's flat and Kijun Sen's flat, Basically, I don't really take trades. So that's something that I wanted to I wanted you to understand that it's very important. So I will talk about all these in my future lives. I will appreciate if you explain um, more about the Kumo thickness. All right. So Kumo thickness is very important. So let's let me talk about Kumo thickness here. So uh, first of all, right, you don't you don't look at the Kumo thickness when the Kumo itself is flat, right? Right, you don't you don't look at the Kumo thickness when it's flat. Basically, you have to look at the Kumo thickness whenever the Kumo is moving up or down. Right. So, for example, in this case, daily chart before the Kumo was very big and it was going up, and Kumo was very thick. Right. Whenever you see Kumo thickness, this is stable uptrend. Right. Is it clear? <laughs> that's it. That's it. It's so simple, and it's easy. And it's visual. And why I say Kumo thickness is very important is because whenever you see the Kumo twist, right? Whenever you see the Kumo twist, the Senko Span B, right? This lower part is called Senko Span B when the Kumo is moving up, right? And the Senko Span B goes upwards, right? On the upper level when the Kumo is bearish. So that's one thing that it that is a little tricky here. And the upper part of the Kumo, when it's bullish, is called single span A. So this part is called single span A, and this part is called single span B, right? And uh, yeah, so uh, how, how should I say? So uh, so whenever you see the uptrend in the Kumo, right, both single span A and B are moving up. They're moving up. And single span B will never go downwards, right? It will never go downwards when it's going up. That's a golden rule, and that's a very uh, in, uh, very important information to remember. So whenever you see Kumo's moving up, single span B will either go flat or go up, and it will never go downwards, right? Unless it twists, it never go downwards. So the question is, what makes a Kumo to twist? Right, what makes the Kumo to twist is actually the simple span A. Right, uh, when you see it here in this part, uh, it is a single span A that actually getting closer to this single span B, and finally, finally uh, twist it. Right, finally twist it here, and that's why I say thickness of the Kumo is very important, because whenever you see the th thin Kumo, that's usually when the Kumo is about to, to be twisted. In contrast, right, in other words, whenever you see Kumo thick, that means the Kumo won't twist, right, anytime soon. It won't twist anytime soon. But when, it ab when it's about to be twisted, the Kumo gets thinner. And that might be the end of the trend. So, and that's why thickness of the Kumo is very important, right? Whenever the Kumo is moving up or down, the thickness of the Kumo is very important. So, yeah. Um, so Kumo, right, single span B can go flat or go up and go flat and go up, right, and go flat and go up until 
the single span B touches on this single span A. Right? This is actually a dead cross of single span A and B, and it will turn to bearish Kumo. And that's why, right, that's why um, whenever you see Kumo's Kumo, right, whenever you see the Kumo, uh, single span B flat is okay, right? As long as single span A is going up, it's okay. This is uptrend, right? This is the uptrend. So again, this is single span A, and this is called single span B. And uh, yeah, so first of all, the Kumo should be uptrend, and Kumo single span B flat is okay, right? As long as single span A is going up, this is uptrend, right? It was uptrend to this way, right? Remember, the Kumo is shifted 26 candles forwarded. So when you see the Kumo uptrend, you are actually looking looking at the market exactly here, somewhere in this area. So you see a single span A is moving up, single span B flat, it's okay, right? As long as the Kumo thickness is gaining, it's okay. This is still the confirmation of the uptrend. And but sometimes, right, you start to see single span A goes flat too. Right? You see single span A goes flat. And that's when the market consolidates. Right? That's when the market consolidates, most likely. And Kijun Sen becomes flat too. Right, that's when main, when market consolidates like this way. All right. So, yeah, when you see Kumo uh, single span B is flat and single span, as long as single span it goes up, this is the uptrend in long term. I mean, in Kumo itself, because it's gaining thickness. But whenever you see single span A start to be flat, right? Let's not talk about Kijun Sen because it might confuse everybody. So I will talk about Kijun Sen in some other. Um, opportunity, but today let me just focus on single span A and B, right? So when you see single span B flat, single span A flat, when you see both are flat, that means that the market is consolidating, basically, right? And that's why, that's why uh, this Kumo angle, right? And length and thickness is important. And when there are confirmed, then the next question is whether single span B is moving up or down. And if the single span B is flat, is the single span A moving up or down is another another question. The next question to ask. So in this case, right, uh, Kumo, when you look at the Kumo, it was moving up a little bit, and then it became flat. But initially, when you look at the single span B was flat, but single span A was moving up. So this was still the uptrend. But when you have to stop taking trades is because uh, when, is exactly when the single span A also becomes flat. Right? When you see single span A start to be flat, this is when the market starts to be in the range. And what happens gonna be right my, what might happen is going to be the single span A might retrace backwards to single span B and it may twist. Right? The Kumo might twist to bearish Kumo, right? Which actually is the end of this uptrend. So, and that's why, um, you know, thickness and the angle and also the length of the Kumo is very important. So, right, in that sense, uh, let me take a look at uh, other pairs. Let me just scan all these pairs and see uh, on which pair we look at, we see the trend in Kumo or not. Right, so GBPUSD 1 on chart, this is moving down, right, Kumo is moving down and single span B is flat, but single span A is moving down. And that's why I say this is downtrend, right? In one hour chart. Can you please comment uh, Kumo on the right top side of uh, GBPUSD one hour chart? Right top, right top side. So this is GBPUSD one hour chart, and on the right top side is here. You mean? Well, actually, this is down Kumo, right? This is down Kumo. So um, actually, this is this is basically downtrend, right? So let me take a look at the GBPJPY. All right, let me just scan these currencies and actually you can do this instantly right you don't have to take time to all do to all do to you know to all these so right now Kumo is moving down right single span B is moving down but single span A is flat and when you look at the Kumo itself this is very thin right this is very thin and after the Kumo became flat right this is not yet really moving down uh, when you look at the Kumo, you can even draw a support line or resistance line in the Kumo. And after the breakout of the Kumo, this part is still too thin, too small. So 
I can see that uh, you know this is not yet like a stable downtrend on this GBPJPY. So let's take a look at the daily chart, right? In this daily chart, you see that the Kumo is moving down right now, but again, this Kumo is very, uh, very small. Like uh, when you compare the Kumo, the previous Kumo, the Kumo just broke the previous Kumo downwards, but this is not quite uh, developed yet, right? The Kumo should be moving all the way down this way. Like the Kumo in the past, right? Like the Kumo in the past, the Kumo should be trending downwards. Well, actually, this is bullish Kumo, right? First of all, this is bullish Kumo, so it shouldn't go down, right? It shouldn't go down. So the Kumo will twist to the bearish Kumo and it will go downwards, first of all. So, yeah, on this one, because this is a bullish Kumo, uh, we cannot really take this Kumo to capture a trend, first of all. All right, and moving on to the next pair, uh, USDJPY. So let's only talk about the Kumo today. Right, USDJPY Kumo is flat, and the price is in the Kumo, right? And there is no trend in the market. Single span B is flat, and single span A is going up and down right now. So this is flat range. For our chart, Kumo is flat too, right? Single span B is flat, and single span A went upwards, but right now it's retracing backwards, right? As the price retraces backwards, the single span A also retraces backwards too. So there is no trend in the market. And moving on to the next pair, CDJPY. Right, right now this is flat too. Right, let's take a look at the daily chart. And in this daily chart, right, Kumo looks very strange or funny. But um, the Kumo itself is flat. Right, I can say that the Kumo itself is flat where single span B is currently moving down but single span A is still flat. So it might twist to bullish Kumo. Right, it might twist to bullish Kumo. So we'll see if this downtrend or bearish Kumo will be persistent or not for a couple more days. And by looking at the 4 hour chart, this is flat, right? Kumo is again flat. Right, single span B is flat and single span A is retracing. So there is no trend in terms of the Kumo. So we are looking for up Kumo, down Kumo, but unfortunately, we don't see any like a you know angled kumo today or these days basically and that's why i'm not really taking trades actively these days but uh yeah how about this one right usd cad daily chart the kumo just twisted to the bearish kumo as you can see here the light gray is the bearish kumo and the kumo looks to be just twisted but it's not really going anywhere so that means that there is no trend, it's just consolidating. The price is in the Kumo. Looks like the price has been uh, resisted by the single span A. So it might go backwards to this way. right? And also we can uh, draw a uh, trend line like this way. So the price might go downwards this way. But, you know, but anyways, right? this is in the Kumo, the price is in the Kumo. So we cannot really take trades in this case. For our chart, right, Kumo is twisting a couple of times over time, so there's no trend, right? So by simply looking at the Kumo, you can actually capture you know, the market, whether it's in a trend or not. Uh, very simple, but very powerful, yeah. So let's take a look at uh, this one, Euro AUD. Right, Euro AUD daily chart is currently flat, the Kumo itself is flat. Right, Kumo is expanding, but the direction is flat. Right, there is no angle in that Kumo. So, this upper part is called the single span B, right? And single span B should point downwards, right? Single span B should go downwards to make the whole Kumo to move downwards this way. But right now, single span B is flat, so there is no trend, right? Kumo itself is flat too. And AUDJPY. Uh, daily chart is flat, right? Kumo is also flat. And for hour, this is flat too, right? So everything's flat, and that's why I don't really take any trades these days, right? AD USD daily chart flat, Kumo, right? Uh, single span A is going up, and this is a good sign. So I will just wait for the single span B to move up and start to look for the buy chance. Right now, single span B is flat, so there's no like a 
you know, trend in, in this uh, bigger time frame. So moving on to the 4 hour chart, it's, uh, it's flat, Kumo's flat, there's no trend. In gold, right, uh, daily chart, this, the single span B is completely flat, right, single span A is going up, but single span B is flat, so no trend. The market just consolidating right now, it's been consolidating. And the 4 hour chart looks like the Kumo started to be moving up, right? Uh, single span B is moving up, single span A is moving up too. And the market is actually uh, going towards the recent high. So let's see if the price is going to break the recent high uppers. And if it breaks that uppers, then I will wait for the next buying edge at the next pushback. So I don't place a buy in this area because it might be rejected by this line of a 1.738.71 uh, area. The price might be rejected by this line and go backwards. So I will come back to the chart after the breakout to the upside. So yeah, this is how you can actually look at the Kumo and how you can capture the trend. And also how you can see whether the market is on the trend or not. Simply by looking at the Kumo Senko Span A and B.